Yo, what up? Welcome to Made by Ozzy. I'm Ozzy. And we are going to turn this FPGA development kit into both a gaming console and a cryptocurrency miner. That's a lot. This is going to be an FPGA tutorial series where I walk you through every step to actually get to the point where this can act as something like a gaming console, meaning it has all the firmware built onto the FPGA in order to render 3D graphics, and it could also act like a cryptocurrency miner. Um, specifically, I'm talking about a cryptocurrency called Digibyte. It has a, it has a uh, proof of work algorithm specifically targeting FPGAs. It's called Autocrypt. Um, I actually mine it with some FPGAs downstairs. They're much bigger and beefier than this guy, um, but they, uh, um, but this is a learning channel. Some of the things we're going to need to tackle in order to address that um, involve, first of all, getting this board. This is a DE0-CV um, made by Altera. They are now Intel. Um, getting this up to speed. So we actually need to build the firmware just to be able to interface with this board. You see it's got some nice things, right? LEDs and switches and LCD screen. It has VGA monitor output. But it's really just a hunk of silicone. We have to program in the capability to use all these so that'll be the first steps we focus on the next step for the gaming council specifically is going to be rendering 3d graphics right now there's a standard that uh, most 3d graphics rendering hardware manufacturers follow it's called OpenGL, um, and we are going to follow more or less the same standard they've really hammered out a lot of the good details it's a good standard um, so yeah, this is going to be a development log of every step of the way, and I hope you can join me. Thank you.